dang it. Looks so good to hit record. I can't find anything that helps. Okay, let's try to get back to work before the big attack of the killer bees comes back. Hopefully they won't come back this time. I may have to. Problem is I just can't see. Okay. It looks like there's no space left whatsoever, but I believe there's more than it looks like to me. I just thought it might be interesting to make. <coughs> I like to make videos of stuff. I've seen a lot of really good soldering videos though with people with microscopic cameras and all that. I just have this cheap little fifteen dollar mo mobile phone, literally fifteen bucks. Of course, it's a quad core with a good gig of RAM, but the camera's only like two point one megapixel on video and five on pictures. Sorry, <coughs> <coughs> get to me. And I don't even see any fumes yet. Actually, laying over might be better because if they were poking straight up, then they'd be poking me every time I tried to squeeze it to hold on to it. To, as long as they're not touching, you know, each other, and I can tape them up, make sure that any of the wires is still bendable, doesn't touch anything that shouldn't. But it's terrible when you can't see. I've got on these, uh, I just got them. They're uh, safety glasses that are 1.5 magnifying, and they're full magnifying. They're not those bifocal things. I tried some of those. I couldn't wear them. They made me feel like I was going to lose my mind. Make you feel nauseous because you, you, you look through them when you don't want to, you know, by accident. But uh, I'm wondering if I'm using the wrong iron still, but I don't, I, I don't think this one's really that much. I don't think either one of them would do all that much better than the other. Sure does take a long time to heat up though. Maybe I should try the other one. This one's got a smaller point, so it's easier to hit the spot. That other one would really hardly fit in this spot. Because the point's worn down. Soldering can be really hard when you don't have the right tools. Melts fine on the iron, but it won't melt on my deal yet. That stuck to it. I got one of those little spongy things. I got a nice little stand, and it's got a sponge with you put water in it, and that does help get that some of that soot off of there. I think I better try the other iron. I guess I don't see. I just didn't. Maybe it'll do better than this one. Yes, I'm gonna do it. Did the first time, oh, not too badly. This one's the ground. So luckily, I'm not going to let it solder to the uh, ground ring there, the nut. But luckily, it wouldn't wouldn't actually wouldn't hurt if I did. I just can't get it to do it. Okay, well I'm going to have to get the other iron out. I'll stop and come back.